Praise the Lord. Brother Vivek. Can you do it? Yeah. Yes. Brother, you yeah, know, yeah, I can hear you. Uh, yeah, some, days, some days back, I had a call from a lady, one lady telling me that there's a job. And we had, a we had communicated with her. She told me, you can come. You have to come to my house and stay. I am working in Dubai. She said, I have a car where you have to drive the car for me. And then once I go to Dubai, you have to come and stay over my place till I come back from Dubai. And I was very excited to go. She said, tell me the demands. What salary do you want? And I was very excited about it. And then I just thought of home. I said, I have to be at home. Well, mommy also is there. I don't mind going to work, spending the whole day. But at night, it is to be at home. And so I started praying. And I said, no, I should keep pray and ask the Lord, what is the right decision I should take? And I was, I was praying. I happened to join the prayer service at 3 o'clock on the prayer group, which in the morning I joined. And I just wanted to call and tell the sister who is in charge of the prayer group to pray for me. But the Holy Spirit worked in a very different way. As I was about to tell her, she just took my name and started praying for me. I said, I, I wanted to tell her sister, keep me in prayer to know the right decision. But for a very big surprise of mine, she was taking my name and praying, Lord, bless Newton to take the right decision what he has to take regarding his job. So I just praised God for this great work of the Lord. Praise God. That, uh, as I was singing, the Lord was working different way. And also, brother, I, uh, at last, the talk we had with that woman was not agreeable. She said, no, I want someone to stay at my place, which is not possible. And so it was answered. The next testimony is, brother, I had a habit of never having a clean shave. Although my family members should tell me, I should just ignore it. It happened one fine day. I have been in contact with Brother Lawrence, who explained very well that our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, and God wants to see us fit and fine, very good looking, which I never knew it. And after that, I knew I took a step to shave and I said, I thank you, Lord, that you made me realize that my body is your temple and that you have given me the gift of life today to be alive. Because there are many who have not seen this day today, but since you have blessed me, I should be have a clean shave. I should be smart looking because I'm 54 years old man, but still I'm young in the Lord. So I praise and thank the Holy Spirit for blessing Brother Lawrence and blessing the sister. Pray for me and take the right step. Amen. Thank you, Brother Lutwig. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank, you, thank, you, thank you so much for what we are doing. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Brother Vivek, can I go ahead with the testimony? Yeah, yeah, Shilpa, go ahead. Okay. So this was last week that uh, at one evening, I had a little glimpse or a feeling that my left hand is burnt. When that feeling came, that glimpse came or a vision came, I got scared. And immediately I said, in the name of Jesus, this is not happening. I cancel it. Mm -hmm. The next day, as I sanctify my house with camphor every day, uh, by mistake, I dragged it a bit away. And in that process, the flame of the fire absolutely touched my linen uh, trouser, which was definitely, uh, it was seen by my daughter as well. And she was a little scared at that point of time. And she asked me, are you all right? Is your leg okay? Because something has happened. So I said, yes, something happened, but I think I'm protected. So when I came inside my room and I actually checked, yes, there was a little sensation of as if it was hot or something. But I was surprised that I saw myself that the flame had touched that uh, trouser of mine and it was linen. It had to catch because the, 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 the cloth was such. Oh, yes. And then I realized the glimpse that I had the day before and this happened, there has to be some connection or a warning or maybe a sign that I need to be a little alert. But there was protection. And this is not a lie. This is not just an assumption or something. This is something just actually happened. 
and fire is something uh, you know it's it's little scary so then i realized yes there is a protection uh, no matter you know we fall we rise we fall it happens with me all the time but when i rise i again get back to my track and there is protection and i thank jesus for that because this is a big deal for me big thing for me because i don't have support right now but yes the support is definitely by jesus by almighty that i have seen and felt this time thank you yeah, that's all thank you jesus is brother vivek in emmanuel yeah 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 good man uh i'd like to praise and thank god again for yet another beautiful week ahead and uh, the time to give praise and glory to god is at this uh, holy spirit respain track room put a hedge of protection around everyone my family my the respain track group and every person whom i know and uh, i thank the lord in advance for all the goodness that is going to happen with me at my workplace as well things are challenging but uh, the lord is working in his own ways so i praise and thank god in advance for this blessings that are coming thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you holy spirit thank you thank you jesus thank you emo what lovely to see thank you jesus um brother vivek this is ami just want to thank the um, yeah ami uh the lord for our families and the continue uh give us a flowing water of love hope mercy peace joy in our in our lives even though it's sometimes it's uncertain but uh, but that uh, this this when now it's not always in the good times but in the bad times and stuff like that you uh practice practice put to the test and and uh, you keep on uh, saying that um i confess boldly every now and then throughout the days and just um in many, in many times of your life and uh, you also in the family where you sometimes uh you you write like your arguments and stuff like that start to rise but then you stop the holy spirit intercedes and says you know watch the your words in your mouth and you no know, too much murmurings and st- stuff i can get spirit straight back to um you know focusing on the grace of the holy spirit and, and it comes everything down and it's just working all the time and the brisbane prayer group and the the um uh brother russell's um Uh, preachings every morning it's been straight on line again the pro the proverbs and stuff like that is a, is also good it, it puts everything a little bit more into our finer detail in the scriptures yeah. of the words and it yeah, gives you much more um, clarity and focus and understanding so it's great and i thank the lord and i thank everyone for the uh work filling up my, my wells of living waters Amen. all the time thank, thank you, you. Thank you Jesus. Thank you. Thank you Ani. Thank you Jesus. Thank you and praise the Lord. Yeah, I don't. Thank you for this day and thank you for this opportunity. I have few testimonies. One of the main main thing is thanking God for Uh, Fabian, who was in deathbed, and I put the request, and uh, I prayed uh, with the family. They said it, he has only one hour left, and I, although I have put the testimony in the group, I just wanted to praise the Lord and exalt Him for His mercy and compassion towards His life, and now He is moved to respiratory ward. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. And also um due to uh, hurricane uh, left and right we have a lot of uh, flooding uh, yes. God's uh, protection is upon our house and our belongings. Uh, I praise the Lord. It hurts me that other people are 
damaged. Yet uh, I praise the Lord for uh, his protection because he is leading us through the green pasture according to Psalm 23. Uh, he is my shepherd and my salvation. And I wanted to thank this group and for their uh, immense <clears throat> caring and uh, compassion towards uh, each and every prayer request. I praise the Lord. I honor the Lord. I, I thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jenna. Thank you. Yeah, who'd like to go next and praise God and give glory to God? Hello, Vivek. This is Aloma Fernandez. Yes, Aloma. I just want to express my sincere thanks to the Lord. We are five siblings, all married and well settled. Recently, on 12th August, my youngest brother, aged 56, passed away in Canada. He survived by his wife and two sons. The entire family is still in shock and devastated. Yeah, been praying for you, my Allah. brother was always a picture of good health, very lively, jolly, and had a good sense of humor. A fortnight before his, his death, he spoke. we spoke for over an hour, and he never once complained of any ailment. His untimely death was therefore very shattering and painful for all of us. The day he expired, he had returned from work. That same evening, he complained of severe pain in the stomach, so much so that he was gasping for breath and collapsed in his home. His family rushed him to the hospital, but he succumbed at 3 a.m. the next morning. We first thought it was a cardiac arrest, but the autopsy report revealed death due to pancreatic cancer. Okay. This came as a bolt from the blue, for this was something nobody was aware of, not his family, not even my brother. Okay. We now get to know from his family that only a few months prior to his death, he complained of stomach pain off and on. He would take medication prescribed by his doctor and feel fine again. And so he never thought it was anything serious. We now understand from our doctor that pancreatic cancer is the most deadliest form of cancer. It is excruciatingly painful that patients find it unbearable to live. This cancer, I'm told, is mostly detected at its last stage and thus hardly curable. I want to thank my God for being so merciful to my dear brother, for sparing him that pain and torture of the disease. Though God plucked the most beautiful rose from our garden and the pain is so deep, we find comfort in knowing that my brother was laid to sleep peacefully and is in a better place in the bosom of Jesus. Thank you, my sweet Lord for blessing my beloved brother with a beautiful family and for the 56 glorious and healthy life while he lived. For all the beautiful memories he created and finally a peaceful death. I know for certain that we never lose the people we love, even to death. Their love leaves an indelible imprint in our memories and we find comfort in knowing that our lives have been enriched by having shared their love. I also know he is with my parents gone before him and who doted on, on him so much and is enjoying eternal peace. All glory, praise, and thanks to my God for now looking after his family and helping us all cope with his irreparable and untimely loss. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Aloma. We'll keep praying for you, okay? Thank you. Hello. 
Yeah, Malin. I'm Brian, son. Uh, Brian. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I want to give a testimony that uh, Lord Jesus helped me to uh, get the uh, like get me the admission in the college I wanted to go, uh, despite all the obstacles that I faced during the admission. Yes. And I want to praise and thank God for that. Oh wow! Praise God! Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Jesus thank you, Jesus. Holy yes. Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, our Father. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Yeah, who will go next? It's Janine, Janine here. I'd just like to give a testimony. Sure. I went, to, I flew to central Queensland for a funeral and we stopped uh, just before we got to the town um, just to have a bit of a pit stop. And um, I didn't realise at the time that I dropped my rosary beads. These were special to me. These were from my son. So we had said the rosary on the way over to the funeral, but on the way back, we were saying the divine mercy and I realized I'd lost my rosary beads. And it just so happened that there was a gentleman who picked them up and handed them into the coffee van lady who was at this stop. And she happened to, to mention it to the next lady who'd come for a coffee, who just happened to be talking to to my, myself and my sisters. And so she rang my sister the next day and just said, did any of you lose a pair of rosary beads? And so my sister contacted me and I said, yes, I did. So I was able to ring the lady in the coffee van when I was back in Brisbane and she is sending them to me. So I just like to praise and thank the Lord just for this wonderful miracle of getting my rosary beads back. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hi, this is Russell here with you. Yep. Yeah, Russell. I just want to thank the Lord for this day that we are alive, that we are healthy, that we are well, our families are safe. I want to thank him for blessing us with this opportunity to come and worship him in church and run this Bible study session and build our relationship with him further to get to know him more through his word from the presence of the church itself. I thank him for the rain outside. I thank him for the beautiful weather. And I thank him for everyone that he has given us and connected us to on this uh, prayer family, this Holy Spirit Brisbane prayer group, and everyone that is present and listening to this teaching that is coming straight from the Holy Spirit this evening. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you Lord. I'd like to thank and praise God for all answered prayers that I've been praying for. I've been just saying, Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. And he has been answering every prayer that I've been praying. So I, I want to give thanks to the Lord for all the prayers that I've been making, not just for myself, but for everyone. And I've been seeing a lot of answered prayers. So I just want to thank God. that. And also, I just want to share one thing. Whenever you pray, just remember, every word that leaves your mouth is an answered prayer. So whenever you pray, say, Lord, my word has left my mouth. And I claim this as an answered prayer. And just say, Lord, I see your glory because the Lord is greater than us and greater than what our situation is. So when we give him glory, we know that our human effort cannot take it over. But God's glory is he does things which are impossible. That's what Luke 137 says. So he's the God of the impossible. So let the Lord alone take glory for what he is doing. And you will see things work in your life when you give God everything. Let him take over and let him handle over the situation. And that's why. We, we have such a wonderful God that we can walk in the Holy of Holies through our precious Lord Jesus. And once we walk there and confidently speak to the Father and say, Father God, I love you in the name of Jesus. 
remember the words as as i always share in the in the spiritual language it's always always about commands so when you command jesus never said please he used the word get up out so this is the way you have to understand that the spiritual language is a language of commanding so when you pray father god in the name of jesus and command a situation to turn in your favor because the word jesus itself has that power every situation should bow to the name of jesus so i would just share this prayer it has been working for me i would like you to apply it in your own life and see things just manifest and give glory to god remember testimony is very important because the moment you testify that's when you defeat the devil because his purpose is to destroy come to steal kill and destroy but god has come here to give us life life in abundance thank you lord thank you jesus praise to jesus <clears throat> Hello, brother. Yeah. Brother, I'm in the middle of a busy traffic, but I don't, I don't think I'll make it in time by the time I reach home. So, so I I want to give your testimony. First yeah, of good. all, please bear with me with all the noise around. Secondly, yeah, yeah. brother, uh, uh, just last week I was just driving my car unknowingly that not, not, not knowing I've been driving the car, and I didn't realize there were no documents in the car. All the registration papers were at home. Praise God, nothing happened. And by the time when I realized after a week or so that the, I'm driving the car, but the paper documents are at home. I thank God, thank the Holy Spirit that He prompted me that the papers are not in the car; the papers are, in, are at home. So immediately, I thank the Lord for making me realize that you know, the papers are at home. And had I been caught by any traffic police, it would have been a big mess and confusion, a big fine. Second thing, brother. Secondly, another thing that I thank, I like to thank brother Russell. I yes. just happened to open uh, the the site, the uh, YouTube uh, on YouTube. I mean, I cannot go at the time with seven in the morning or seven in time. So I just happened to I accidentally happened to open the link, and I just was hearing his talk. That is not only inspiring, but he has answered yes. so many questions of mine. Today yes. I'm eager to hear not all the backdated recording of his, and yes. which has really made me you know so strong. And whatever question which I had to ask. It's all spoken over there. It's all the answers I find over there. Yes, yes. Sir. And I thank you, thank I you so it. much for the. Yes, I, yes. I thank the Lord so much for the group, and I thank Brother Russell for yes. the talk what he gives in the morning. I mean, it is really inspiring and motivating. Yes. Praise and thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank brother. You. Thank you to Brother Russell, and thank you to his ministry, and God bless his ministry as he continues to bring Jesus Christ to the ends of the earth. Thank you, Brother Jude, for that testimony. Thank you, Jesus. Thank yes, you, Abba. Hello. Uh, Vivek, I'll just like to give a testimony. Yeah, yeah. Fabio, go ahead. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, I would like to thank our Father for bringing us and making it possible for us to come today in these challenging times and have a prayer meeting after a long, long time out here in the church for making everything possible, all the hurdles he has taken away. And I want to thank and praise God for a hedge of protection that he continuously every day protects us, gives us thanks for this life uh, that we sometimes take for granted, for the relationships that we take for granted. Uh, thanks for the hedge of protection around me and my family, around my friends. Uh, also like to thank God for the, the healing in my stomach that I've been having uh, an infection previously. The results are looking better and I know I'll be completely healed by the healing touch and the protection by his precious blood. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, who would like to go next? Brother, this is Caroline here. Yeah, Caroline. Uh, 
last week i i was uh, not able to sleep in the night and uh, suddenly i thought i'll since i'm awake i'll just uh, listen to brother russell's uh, teaching yes and uh, like someone rightly pointed just now that uh, you know he answered uh, one of my questions which was uh, haunting my mind for so long and that was about uh, you know the evil one getting rich and rich and sometimes we we have uh, experienced in our life that people who do us harm and people who are not in the right way they always prosper and they prosper so much in abundance and uh, russell brought it up uh, so well that day uh, when i heard the teaching that it's finally not about uh, abundance and money and materialistic things but finally about uh, you know how clean your soul is and at the end of the day we are all answerable to god so we cannot sell our soul and get the riches because finally the riches are eternal and we need uh, to have riches in heaven so wow. uh, listening to his beautiful teaching was such an eye opener because yes. sometimes we see people who are happy and uh, everything seems rosy at the outer end but when we actually uh, look deep in their hearts in their life we can always feel it hollow so uh, thank you russell for that beautiful teaching and uh, which makes us feel that even if we ha- don't have so much uh, money or you know in abundance at least we are living a lives which is righteous which is the most important thing in uh, you know in today's world yes. so pray you praise god and uh, it was very uh, heartening to uh, hear that from him thank you chief. thank you brother thank you thank you please join the praying in tongues early morning at 7 o'clock uh, australian eastern standard time if you can make it otherwise there's a recording sent on our whatsapp prayer group also put up on the youtube so if you can subscribe to the youtube channel uh, that will be also a great blessing so i think russell can send the link to the youtube channel so people can you know subscribe to it so you can get every time there's uh, you know uh, the teaching posted you will get it every day we also have a, a rosary session in the evening at 7 o'clock every day so it's so really beautiful i join it daily i'm so blessed to be part of it and uh, it's really truly from the holy spirit that people really lead this uh this wonderful rosary and the divine mercy session it's at 7 o'clock in the evening after work most of the people uh see it in your particular times um yes and yeah you can join that as well and we have the friday session so we have morning uh Uh, we have the evening praying i mean the worship session and then after that we have um you know the bible study so yeah so keep us in prayer as well when we pray for one another thank you thank you everyone and please join thank you jesus yes anyone else would like to share your testimony yes i'd like to give my testimony this is misa yeah can you hear me yeah i can hear you so um my family and i we have been praying we prayed a lot before taking this decision of relocating and we believe that it is the lord who has directed us uh it was a difficult decision because firstly i work here and my school is here but right now things are online so it made sense plus i'm doing my course so it that is also online so you know i was a little worried about moving and when things open up i'll have to come back and where would i live and things like that because we're living on rent here it's been quite a few years but uh, things are okay god takes care of us he's kept a roof over our heads always Please always god. put food on our table and we're so grateful and thankful to him yes. so yes uh then i was a little stressed about it but i prayed about it and i told the lord you show me the way and he rightfully did because the owner of this house uh who was my ex professor in college she uh willingly said that you can come back in jan because that's the time i think schools are going to reopen here in mumbai hopefully and she said you can stay or you don't need to pay me any rent i told her i said ma'am i just need it till i finish my course so she has said that to me and i believe it will happen i mean it's not going to change though sometimes you know the devil tries to put certain yeah. thoughts in your mind Yes but uh, yeah i i know that she's going to let me stay out till i finish my course and then i can take it further from there so i want to thank him for directing my paths and my family's as well yes so all glory to jesus thank you lord thank you nessa thank you so much for that testimony 
uh, we should depend on the Lord, and that's that's what's so important for us. Just trusting Him with all our heart. Proverbs three five. Yes. Thank you. Yes, and in the morning, uh, Brother Russell's uh, session, there was one line that he said, "God knows what is best for us at the correct time," which is so true. Yes. He knows best. That's so correct. Absolutely correct. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, brother. Yeah, I, I want to thank the Lord. Uh, in spite of all the pain in my body, I have uh, had this cervical uh, spondylosis and lumbar spondylosis since many years. But his grace is made perfect in me. And when I'm weak, then my Lord is so strong. And I'm amazed at the things that I'm able to do only because of Jesus' grace. And... Uh, Recently, my son bought a body massager and though I was supposed to go for uh, physiotherapy every month, at least uh, for a week or so, I was not doing that. But because of this body massager, most of the knots which were there from my neck till my lower back, it has reduced completely and I want to thank and praise the Lord. And I believe and I know by his wounds and stripes, I am completely healed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Yeah, anyone else would like to glorify God? Hello, Brother Vivi. Yeah, go ahead. I want to praise and thank God. Oh, lately, I, you know, I was hurt so badly. But I praise and thank God. It was not bothering for me. Because I always feel Jesus is in me. He will show away. But it was not to my mind or worried or anything like that. I'm very calm, very peaceful. Thank and glory for God because he gave me such kind of a heart and the feelings, it was, even though the words were so terrible. But anyway, praise and thank God. I don't take it inside, thinking that Jesus is always inside me. I praise and thank God. I glorify the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Praise, Praise you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Always, always, replay, always repay an evil with a blessing. That's what 1 Peter 3, 9 says. So whenever you repay an evil with a blessing, you inherit God's blessing. So when you operate in love, you'll always see the glory of God. The devil cannot defeat you when you operate in love. That Praise is God. the grace of God because the devil is all about lies. He only tells us lies. That's the thing. Thank, Thank you. Jesus. Thank you, brother. Anyone who's listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit and wants to give a testimony, if you are reading the word and the Holy Spirit is directing you and directing your paths, uh, Proverbs 3, 6, can you actually share what the Holy Spirit, even if it's a small thing, like, you know, the Holy Spirit has told you, get up and pray, and you are listening to the voice, that itself is such a great thing that, you know, you started that journey uh, of this, this life, you know, the new life that we talk about in Christ through his word. So if that is happening with you, please testify. Do not leave it with you because there are others who want to experience this too. Your testimony can save so many souls all across the world. So please testify. Yes, brother. Today the Holy Spirit again reminded me, where is your focus? So when I'm not focusing on Jesus, the Holy Spirit reminds me. So I thank the Holy Spirit for redirecting my focus every day. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Anyone else would like to share? 
how the word of god has touched your life after you started reading if you are experience that peace that surpasses all understanding you are peaceful even in times of trouble then you should testify because this is not ordinary this is god himself in you so if the world is getting upset and you are peaceful it means the lord is in you and in control of that situation uh, yes prathip vivek i would like to give thanks to god almighty and to the holy spirit for working within me this change that has come is is begin within me first because i can see a change in myself where i'm no longer panicking and i'm no longer living in depression and anxiety there's a peace there's a confidence knowing that things which are not in my control is in god's control and yes. if it's in his control his plans work for the best so i just work in that confidence knowing that he is directing and guiding our steps and i can see uh john 10 10 happening where you know the the evil one comes to steal kill and destroy but god comes to give life and life in abundance so uh we can see this happening day in day out where his word is manifesting in our lives um i i believe that you know he comes with his worries and his hindrances and obstacles but with god there's always a way he always makes a way so i just want to praise and thank god for giving me this confidence giving me um for revealing his truth that his word works wonders so just want to praise and thank god almighty for it thank you jesus thank you tanaka for that wonderful testimony and you are a wonderful servant of the lord i bring christ to the ends of the earth and you'll see a great testifying i'm praying for you every day so i'm sure we are going to see that miracle thank you brother yes brother this is marvin praise god yeah marvin go ahead yeah i want to thank and praise god especially for the morning session of brother russell uh, these days he's been giving so amazing uh, uh, yes. the word of god and all and the way he speaks it's like you know so strengthening and soothing and we are going yes. through so much but earlier i used to panic and i used to get anxiety but uh, it's like uh, he's the way he talks to god for us each one of us so strengthening and renewing our mind i want to thank and praise god for this session and god bless brother asim for this thank you, thank you jesus god thank you god Jesus yes anyone else would like to testify if the holy spirit is speaking to you just testify stand up and just give your testimony even if it's a thank you jesus do it just do it just obey the voice of the holy spirit he will talk to you right now just obey his voice let us start obeying the voice of the holy spirit that's when our spiritual life start getting mature because we're listening to someone who's in us not outside us in us who's talking to us all the time oh oh bam 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 the living this is our early again um, it's so the time like um, when you even there are times when it's um you when you just uh just got full you know you got no faith but then there's uh, the holy spirit somehow gives you sort of like remembrance to scriptures and even times when we've been told even our brother johnson you it so so like every time all these um uh teachings and that come to remembrance and stuff like that so in the times of uncertainty like um uh, you 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 speak to um each each other when we're talking to um like say uh my brother my brother's a dog went missing 
for a little while and it usually returns and stuff like that. But um, somehow um, there's little things, um, it, it, it comes back a little bit more um, uh, often and uh, not, it doesn't go very long. So this, uh, I'm thinking like there may be all, all these angels or whatever are leading it back or all these things, but it's a good thing. And I always, when things are like that, it's always a good sign because I we, and remember to always thank the Holy Spirit or stuff like that. But I just remember just, I told them, if anything, just like this, even though you, you, you don't even, th you, th you think it's uh, not a sort of like um, important, but just say, you know, Holy Spirit, can you find my dog? Stuff like that and bring it back safely. Just do anything like that. Just even though if you don't have faith and just trust it, just trust it. And then all of a sudden, but he came back this, um, he told me, and I said, and give us a, tell me what happens when, uh, if it does come back. And, um, you know, and then, and then I went home and in the morning, I went to work and I, and then I come back for lunchtime. And the next minute he has a message to his dog. I came back and stuff like that. And he told me the story about that. And yeah, and it's, and it's good like that. So they too in turn do the same thing and, you know, just ask the Holy Spirit to yes. uh, do the thing. So these are, these are the things that you've been saying. So we're just sort of like, just, just do it. You yes. know, it's not the, and I remember those scriptures, um, it's not the, uh, God, the, 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 God, God, God doesn't justify the hearers. He's the only the ones that do it as well. So just, just try and trust in the thing and just do it. And it's amazing. And just thanking and stuff like that. And you, you get confident all the time. And you just, you just do it. And next, next minute, you just, um, just rely on and trust the Holy Spirit yes. to do things. And it does manifest. And it's really serious. And it's, it's you, you become serious about it. And it's, uh, yeah, and it's a serious uh, God who loves and has mercy, and he's and he's very very serious about his love. It's just it's on a different platform, and you gotta gotta know that it's not like man's love. This one is just like something phenomenal. It's just like wow, and that's what I like about it. And I just recommend anyone here. You just do it, and you just the focus and intensity of his love is unbelievable. You should embrace and you have joy in it in your times yes. of um, hardship. Absolutely. absolutely, 100%, 100%. In fact, what Oni is saying is absolutely right. If you are facing any challenge in life, go to the Holy Spirit and say, look, Holy Spirit, I'm going through this. And use that scripture with power in your mouth. Just open it and you know, let it leave your mouth and say, Lord, I see this answered prayer and I thank and praise you. Thanksgiving is the greatest form of prayer to God because you're thanking God for something that is unseen and calling that into the scene. So that's what we have to do by calling the unseen into the scene is that we are thanking God and say, thank you, Lord, for hearing me. Thank you so much. And you just live into that present moment by calling that from the spiritual realm into the spirit, realm, into the physical realm. You'll always see manifestations. So thanking God, Ernie, is one of the best best form of prayers it's in fact another level of prayer where you stop asking and thanking god because you are so grateful that god is in you nothing matters more than god that is the most beautiful thing that's that's the next level of our journey uh, where christ is everything and all these other things mean nothing to me because you know he'll always do what you ask there's nothing he'll not provide that's why david said my lord is my shepherd i shall never lack anything he said it because he meant it so let's do, as Ernie says, let's all open our mouth and speak a scripture. Say, Holy Spirit, you will bring this to pass. I know this will come into, uh, you know, and, and just talk to the Lord. Listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. He will guide you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Ernie. Praise the Lord, brother. Uh, my name is Shireen. Yeah. And I'm joining from the U.S. And uh, I have been uh, listening to you and Brother Russell uh, for a while. And uh, just wanted to give glory to God this morning. Um, with me and a few friends, we started um, reading the Bible. Wow, starting great. from Gospel of John. And we started a few months ago. And we are still on the chapter 10 because... We are read, re reading, pondering on it, 
um, yes. really absorbing the words of it. Yes. And one thing, something came rather like from the beginning when we read, it said like at the beginning, John, before the world created um, Jesus, the word was there. And so every time when we receive the Eucharist and Jesus is entering into our bodies and how um, every time when I go through some situation right now or any time, um, Jesus reminds me that I who created the world who is in you, so why do you have to be scared? And that gives me the power and the strength to go through any situation when I know that God who created heaven and earth is in me, what can come or go wrong within me? Yes. Anytime, even my children, when they go any situation, at the same time, I also uh, claim for them, even though they are not into to the word, and I um, command the evil, um, like uh, saying, who are you to trouble my children? The God who created heaven and earth is in them. And he has the power more than you. So get behind them, Satan. Right away, I see many changes in their lives too. So I just want to give glory to God for that. Wow, I'm so... Thank so, you and praise the Lord. I'm so pleased with this testimony. It is like an answered prayer to me as a preacher. For preaching Thank God's word for so many years. It is when you open the Bible and you start studying it, immense power will come today's teaching is all about the bible teach you read the bible the bible yeah. reads you back in return mm -hmm. so shari yes, thank you so much and you know for, for bringing that because i i thank always you. say open the bible start reading do not just depend on the preacher's words coming friday after friday make that personal yes. relationship with Jesus through his word that is the best way out preachers will come and go in your life of course the word of god will definitely preaching god's word it will give you that kickstart to reading the Bible. But your relationship is personal. You cannot be, your relationship with Jesus is personal. Your husband's or spouse's relationship is personal. Mm -hmm. Children's relationships are personal. We can only pray for them. But you have to have a personal relationship with Christ. And that is only through his word. So that mm -hmm. is exactly what I've been preaching and praying that everybody has that wonderful relationship. Like he has met me and, you know, changed my life totally. So thank you, Shreem. Thank you very much for that testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hello, brother again. Yeah. I I wanted to thank um, the mainly three people. Of course, I'm thanking everyone in the prayer group, but I'm thanking brother Vivek. Brother Russell and Brother Savio, like the fire within me is uh, rejoicing and, uh, and also I'm thankful for the dear sister's testimony. And there are so many things I wanted to say and when I heard her, I am so thankful because she is the reason that I um, joined J-C-I-L-M, and then I introduce her about you and how it goes in and out, and then it strengthens us. And uh, it just, uh, it just, uh, it's like a mustard, very strong, that uh, the fire within us that will continuously light up the world and save many souls. And I praise the Lord for this, uh, Sharin's sister Sharin's testimony. Thank you again. Thank again, you, thank Jesus. You. Don't forget to thank the Lord. He is everything in us. Okay. Thank you, Jim. Yeah. Would there be anyone else before we can start? wonderful testimonies. One of the best is opening the word of God and starting to read. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I would like to give another testimony, Vic. Yeah. 
Um, I would like to thank and praise God for for all the destiny helpers in my life. Uh, especially recently, uh, I've been uh, like previously going to church, uh, but as part of the prayer group, uh, going to church and attending mass has become more meaningful to me. But I've always wanted to learn more about the mass itself. And I would like to thank Destiny Helpers who have come into my life and who have uh, made such teachings and sessions that I'm now attending uh, more meaningful, that I'm through these sessions learning more about the mass. And through this, the Holy Spirit has put on my heart, you know, uh, you should maybe start attending mass more daily rather than weekly. That's how I attend mass currently uh, and drawing me closer to the Holy Eucharist. So I want to really thank and praise God for bringing this destiny helper in my life and drawing me closer to him through the Holy Eucharist. Thank you, Jesus.